What's up guys? So lately I've been getting asked a lot of questions about how I do my editing, how I do it so quickly. So I thought I'd throw together a quick how-to video, little tutorial on how I do my editing of just my photos today. I'm gonna show you how, to, how I do it so quickly, conveniently. Uh, first thing, I will mention that I am using Adobe Photoshop 2015. Now I know it's a little outdated, don't judge me, but I'm familiar with it. I can use it very quickly and uh, promptly. Everything's convenient for me. So now we'll jump into the intro and then I'll jump into the how-to. For this video, I'll be using OBS Studio. I'll try to be descriptive as possible. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for checking out. We'll see you on the other side. Hey guys, so we've jumped over to the computer now. I am talking through my Logitech G933 headset, so hopefully it sounds okay. I will post the link and the info on that headset down below. So as you can see, I've preloaded a very basic photo, a picture I took of me and Jenna's bikes when we were out camping at Elkwater. So I'm gonna show you how quickly and easily it is to add just a, a little flavor, a little pop to your, your photo. I'm not a big fan of photography. I don't take many pictures, but when I do, it's mainly to kind of grab appeal on Instagram. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll take the select few photos that I will post and I'll bring them into Adobe Photoshop and I'll just uh, kind of, you know, add a little spice, my own flavor. Now, everybody's gonna have their own style. It's kind of personal preference on what you're gonna do here. Uh, I like to add a little mood to my photos, um, you know, a little emotion as I know two pictures of bikes, it doesn't have it, but the reason I like this photo is it was early morning, it was a little rainy, there was some dew, a little bit of fog, it, it's not too washed out, it's, you know, for me it's just kind of cool. So what you want to do, like I said, open up your photo, so once you got that done, click over here on filter. Now when you get to filter, you're going to click on camera, raw, filter. Click on that, <clears throat> excuse me. So once that opens, it's going to give you a lot of different features and basically it's, you know, all the raw features that you would have on a very pricey camera. Um, myself, I use a Canon T6i, so I do have a lot of these options in post on my camera, but after post, I still like to, uh, you know, I shoot in raw and uh, cineform. So we got here temperature for those that you don't for those of you that don't know you got your warmth and your cool basically uh, a lot of people will be, be familiar with it from their TV tints you got your greens and your pinks exposure which is pretty much standard on a uh, camera your lighting contrast highlights, shadows whites blacks then your clarity your vibrance and saturation now saturation is the color of the photo as you can see, I bring it right up. Vibrance is just how bright that color is going to be. That's the difference between those. So that's your basic settings. You got your levels. We're not going to mess with that. Detail for sharpening. As you can see, it really crisps up that photo. I'll just leave that there. And then you got your, your colors for your hue, your saturation, and your luminance. So as you can see, there's some pinks here. If I wanted to change that, I could bring that up a little and that'll just simply any any pink that's in the photo, it's going to bring up. So I'll put that back to zero. Click on default and reset it. Also, I should mention, I'm going to back out here in a sec, but you can actually download presets from the internet. A good place to find those is YouTube. Just search what your, your, you know, your desire outcome is. I have a a pink and teal two different pink and teal styles here so if I click on that very quickly changes the photo I can go to this one that's a little more subtle but I'm gonna cancel that and here we go we're gonna run through what we're gonna do so for myself as I said this is a foggy picture I'm gonna you know bring it down to the blue side for temperature make it a little cool kind of accentuate that rainy foggy feeling in the morning 
Then I got lots of greens. You can see just by sliding it that little bit, it makes a big difference in there. So I'm gonna bring it over to the green tint, tint up those greens so you can see here. Contrast, I'm gonna do the contrast first before exposure. Now sometimes I'll bring the exposure down first, but because the contrast and it's a darker photo, I'm just gonna go with the contrast first. And I love that already. I'm not gonna change the exposure too much, maybe. Yeah, as you can see, I didn't change it very much at all. So your highlights, that's going to be your white. As you can, like, when I bring it all the way up, the background's washed right out. Normally, I won't play with this too much unless I'm, you know, I took a picture at Lake Louise and the sky was completely washed out. The clouds were too bright. So when you bring it in here, you're able to kind of turn that down and bring out the blues in the sky. I turn that right down. Shadows, nah, it depends on your, your personal preference, like I said. I'll bring that down just a tad. Now whites, kind of overall brightens the entire photo. It's a little different than exposure. Exposure I find just washes it out way too much. The blacks, it, it all depends on what you want detailed. Like there's quite a bit of black in this photo, so I'll turn actually turn it up. Now clarity, clarity is gonna, obviously it's pretty much straight to what it says. You turn it down, it smooths out the photo. If you got too much noise, sometimes you can play with that and bring it down. I'm gonna bring it up a bit because I want it to be, I like my photos to almost look like you're looking out a glass window or you're sitting there looking at it. So I'm gonna bring that up just a tad. Vibrance, I want that, I'm gonna bring up, I want this green to really glow. And these pinks here, the green on my bike. So I'm gonna bring that up just a bit. And you can kind of watch the photos. And then I'm gonna bring the contrast up a little more. And that's basically it. We'll close this out and you can see the difference happen. Quite a difference. You can see the grass and the needles from the pine trees are very, very sharp. Back here is a little washed out, but like I, I'm trying to get the focus right on this area here. And sometimes that's hard to do, but seems to have happened. And just, I like myself when I take a photo, I like the, uh, the background to be, you know, less of a distraction. I like to, the focus to be right on the subject. Now, if you want to add a vignette or some shadowing on the edges to your photo, what you can do is go to filter, then go to the lens correction, and it brings up this screen. Now, right off the bat, you can do auto correction. I use a Canon T6i. It is not listed. So if I wanted to, say I was using, using a Canon EOS Rebel, which is basically a lower end T6i. I can click on that. It's gonna change the, the lens a little, but I don't wanna do that. Then you can actually go through all your lenses. I use an 18 to 55, click on that. That brings it up. Now, to get to your vignette, you click on custom, and right here, you can just bring this up and see that happen. You can see the edges. And then you can go here, change your, your center, fo center, center focal point, sorry. And if you go the other way, basically it brightens the edge, which also looks pretty nice, but it's a little washed out. So I guess it depends on the photo you're using. So we'll click okay there. I added a bit of shadowing to the edges. And that is the finished product. So it's basically just that simple, very quick and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it helped. If you have any questions, leave some comments down below. Like I said in the intro, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give me a big thumbs up on the like section and we will see you soon. Hope you guys enjoyed. Later.